Welcome back to the channel in part six of the DIY off-grid solar shed series. In the last video, I was starting to dig the ditch and I've gone ahead and completed that, digging down as deep as I could go. Then I add stone as well as tape things off as a warning and backfill the entire ditch. The purpose of digging the ditch is to extend the power out to the shed. Our solar system is gonna be grid assist where we can draw off the grid when needed whenever we don't have solar to help charge our batteries and so forth. We're also using the ditch to bring power back to the pool area to run the pool off grid from a circuit in the shed off the solar system. When looking at the box, not much has changed inside except that I bypassed power going from the house to the pool and I've actually just connected onto the new line going to the shed. All in all, there's six wires inside this conduit, three that go to the shed and three that come back to the pool. I think it's a good time to mention that most of this video I did the work off camera just because I've been back to work things are really busy and I'm running out of time cold weather is just around the corner and I want to get this project done before the snow starts falling fast forward about a week and a half pretty much have all the AC wiring done now I just have to focus on the DC side the batteries as well as the solar so let's go ahead and talk about some of the components I do have some flexible metal conduit coming in there's both line power coming in as well as a circuit that goes back out and feeds the pool. This is what I was working on outside with the new ditch. So the wire actually passes through the low center and this is really my sub panel. Two circuits, one circuit for the line power which passes through to the midnight transfer switch and then another circuit that goes over and feeds over to the MVP inverter. So I'm looking at this, I keep this on and then I can have grid power and when I'm feeding this, I'm also feeding AC power. If I want to work on the MPP solar, I can just turn this off, line power is now off. So this transfer switch switches between my line power and my off-grid system. Now once uh, AC power comes out, the MPP solar, either from battery or, or the actual solar, um, it's gonna be AC output into the other side of the transfer switch, so I can switch between. So while I'm up, it's line power. If I'm down, I'm working off battery and solar. This feeds back into the load center where I have a couple circuits. The first one is for all the shed power. The second one will feed the pool. So I've popped off the cover, so I think that's sometimes helpful for people to see some of the wiring. You can see this is the line that comes from the house feeds over to my sub panel. I also have a midnight solar surge protection device. This is the 240 volt unit. I am using it on a 120 volt um, sub panel. This is all 120 volt. So when you have black and red wire, what you do is you wire, it doesn't matter which one, the red wire into the input of AC and then the output on this branch circuit is where the black wire would go. So it passes power through it and then uh, my branch circuit goes back down to the transfer switch. I also have another version of this, a DC version for the solar, which will be connected to the combiner box outside. Once I go ahead and get the solar installed, we'll put the other version of that on the outside of the shed. I also want to show you, I got some of the uh, AC wiring roughed in on the shed. I just had to make my connections. And then it runs up here down to couple receptacles and I have one over by the door for lights. Maybe put a power switch over there. This will be all GFCI protected. Also coming out that junction box is another set of outlets. One right there that will have a GFCI and that will feed over to the last one. Standard outlet. Okay brother, I'm gonna pound this ground rod, eight footer. Mm -hmm. What do you think the process so far? Good. You ready to hit it? Yeah. Let's get it lower, then you can whack at it, all right? Yeah. Awesome. Go, Daddy, go. All right, Ted's gonna give it a try. Good job. 
job. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Worth a worker. All right. Good? Yeah. Good job, brother. Once we finished up pounding in the ground rod, we went ahead and attached the clamp as well as ran cable from the AC sub panel to the grounding clamp. Adding this grounding source is critical here for all the components on the AC side. And this will also serve as the grounding rod for the DC system and the solar panels. I'm going to finish up the video now. I want to get this done. Cold weather is on its way. I need to work on the batteries, the battery box, and then get the solar hung. So lots to do. About third done on the project, having a great time. And I wanna thank you for watching. Take care, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and have a great day.